Hey y'all, I hope that you have had a great week. I am coming to you today because I wanted to share with you about my trip to Nashville for our PAC uh, meeting for the year. So in order to earn a spot on our PAC, which is our Presidential Advisory Council with 31, you um, have to obtain one of this first, or the first six spots, I guess you'd say, in four recognition categories. So basically be the top, the top six in the United States in four recognition categories. So personal volume is the first one, or sales. Um, PICAs is the second one, which is helping your new consultants qualify. Uh, in in their first well not really in their first 30 days but in their first um helping them qualify with their first thousand dollars in sales and um, the next recognition category is team sales and the fourth recognition category is for um, developing director bonuses so this year is my third year serving uh, on PAC uh, this year I have earned for sales which is personal volume I was number two in the company the entire company of the United States for sales the past two years I've earned for PICAs which is new consultants and personal volume. Uh, this year I just earned in that one category uh, and just truly honored to be a part of the Presidential Advisory Council because it's a way for us to be a to be a voice for the field. Um, we're able to offer feedback um, and ideas, and it is truly great. So I wanted to share with you about. I, I keep saying weekend, but it wasn't the weekend. I went on Wednesday and then came back last night. So um, it was in Nashville, Tennessee. So I actually drove there. Um, it was a three and a half hour drive for me, so it wasn't bad. I figured not to fly because it take me two hours to get to the airport and probably, you know, like a 45 minute flight and I would have been there faster if I drove. Um, just a downtime for me. I never have downtime by myself. Um, I'll, I mean, I work during the day by myself, but I'm working. I'm never just like, oh, la, 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 you know, driving. So that was really great for me. So uh, when we got there, um, I was able to meet up with some of my 31 sisters. Um, I actually uh, roomed with uh, my friend Lorna. She is a Canadian consultant, so it's great to room with her. So I just thought that I would share some of the products that I took with me and then kind of show you some of the things and talk about the days that we had when we were in uh, Nashville. So, and the first item that I took with me was my new commuter backpack. Love this backpack. Uh, this is in the Whisper Gray print. I love that it's got the rope handles right here. Um, this rope is not going to come untied. It's actually sewn down, but I, I have to have a handle on a backpack. Love that. Um, it does have two zippers. Uh, I cannot use a backpack. I can, but I don't like to use a backpack that does not have two zippers because I constantly find myself zipping down and then zipping back up on both sides. I love to have two zippers on a backpack. It's just a little quirk of mine. Um, on the back, you've got our padded backpack straps. And what I use this for is this has a little strap right here. So you can actually slide this over the trolley handle of your luggage. So that's exactly what I did. Um, this has uh, my laptop in here because it's really heavy and uh, my planner and my notebook and things like that. So I just slid this over the trolley of my luggage. So if you were using this as a carry-on, it's really great. And then it has our vegan leather here on the bottom. So it's kind of like that polyester feel here. And then that, um, vegan leather leather there on the bottom and it got uh, deep pockets here on the side so you can put your water bottles I actually had my chargers on one side and then a water bottle on the other and then you have a zipper right here so you can store things in the zipper pocket here with a little d-ring right here so you can hook on something there so this uh, was my um my kind of professional bag if you, if you would say so on the inside of here i took one of this is our uh, get one of our get creative slim pouches so I just had some of uh, my pen in there and highlighters and things like that. I also took, this was another product. We don't have any more, but I love this. This is called the Get Creative Pouch. One of the Get Creative Pouches is the rectangle pouch. So I always put my mouse in here. I'm old school. I have to have a mouse. I mean, I can use a little pad at the bottom of my laptop, but it takes me forever. So I'm a mouse person. And then my charging cord was there. And then I did, and cause I didn't know if we'd get a notebook. So I took my old uh, pack notebook. I've been using this one for like three years. <laughs> so love this one. And then, um, I took my personal notebook for the year. And then I took, of course, uh, my 31 catalog because you just never know who you might run into, or if you need to look up something in your catalog. So I took that. I took my uh, daily planner. So this is, I use the simplified planner. I think it's from Walmart. I'm not a planner girl as far as like, um, you know, getting the fancy ones. I just need for in a planner for me, 
this is what I need. I need a place on the side. I need a, a section right here on the side where I can write things. That is what I look for in a planner and to have a big area right here. So this is my lifeline. This is my day-to-day -day lifeline of how I keep up with everything is this planner. And then um, here in the back, you can see that you have a little Velcro strap right here. So you have a laptop sleeve here. So you can put your uh, padded laptop section here. I do have my 15-inch uh, laptop. And the 15-inch laptop is really like the perfect fit for this backpack. You can have a larger laptop than a 15-inch uh, because you can see there's plenty of room here to here. But um, it probably just wouldn't Velcro very well. You know, your Velcro strap wouldn't wouldn't reach there. I'm not going to take my laptop out because it's my lifeline. <laughs> so if something happens to it, um, I would be in big trouble. So here we go. We'll zip this back up on both sides. Oh, and then this is the inner circle personalization. Uh, I love that one. Okay. So that was the, um, the first product that I took with me. Then um, I took my boutique crossbody. If you guys are friends with me on Facebook, you'll have to go look at my pack album, my photo album, because I took a picture Everybody have this. <laughs> like, this is the best travel crossbody. You can, um, it's super lightweight, super lightweight. Um, it's, you can, it can hold your phone, your where to wallet. It held everything that I needed to. So, uh, this is one of the ones from summer. This is the caramel one. Um, but I actually took this in my, I didn't carry this, you know, out. It was in my luggage, but I got it out when I got there. And then this was my, this is actually the purse that I took. This is my window shopper in the Moonstone print. That inner circle personalization, you can tell, is probably my favorite. So I did take this as my purse, but when we were like walking and things like that, this is what I would take. Look how gorgeous this is together. So if you're traveling or going shopping or going to festivals this season, you need a boutique crossbody. And you can even, like a lot of times I'll find myself, I will cinch this all the way up. So when I sit down at a restaurant or something, I'll cinch it all the way up and I'll hang it on the back of my chair. That way it's not touching the ground, but I'll also carry it on my shoulder like this, or you could wear it as a crossbody, you know, in the front. So wear it as a crossbody, you know, in the front and have it with you like this. There's so many ways to wear this and I adore it. So that's the boutique crossbody. And this is the window shopper uh, in that moonstone. And then I also took, um, I should have left my stuff packed up, but I, I took my, um, this is my hanging traveler case, y'all. I don't travel without this. Flying, road trip, this hanging traveler case is with me. This is an old print. My new one has not come yet, but this is the one that I, did I took with me. The kiss and makeup uh, personalization there. And then, uh, let's see, I'm going to unzip it. And you can see... Gosh, I have so much stuff in here. This is what I took with me. Like I keep this packed up because I show it in my parties because it's so impactful to see that somebody's, you know, you can see what all you can put in here. So you've got a section to store things here. You've got, I don't want my little beauty blender to fall out, but you've got plenty of uh, storage there. So this is the, uh, the hanging traveler case. I also took the travel case with me. If I, could, I don't know if I can grab one really quickly or I would, but uh, the travel case is like a square. I, I have one right over here, but it's wrapped up. But anyways, it's like a square uh, little open travel case. And so I put, I can fit in there my hair dryer, my flat iron. I keep my deodorant in there and I can fit so many of those little other things that won't fit in, mirror, in, in there. And my hair brushes and my makeup fit in there. So that's the travel case. And, um, and then I had my luggage. So that's what I took with me as far as products. So then, so that was, we went up, I went up on Wednesday. And then when we got to our room, we had a little gift bag there for us. Thank you. <laughs> so um, I went uh, into our room and we had a little gift. My bow is messed up. Oh, there it goes. A little gift bag for us with tissue paper. And so they had some little Nashville goodies in there for us. So I thought this was very thought out and I loved it. I love a gift that is thought out and kind of, um, you know, tiered for the area there. So we had um, Nashville. This is Marigold Gourmet Popcorn. So this was the Nashville Hot uh, flavor. We also had a little, got a little Nashville postcard. And I wish that I had realized this sooner and I would have sent this to my kids, even though I would probably would have been back uh, before they came. And then uh, there was a Goo Goo cluster in here. So there is a Goo Goo um, 
There is a Goo Goo store, Goo Goo Cluster store in Nashville, and this is actually brought to you by the candy company in Nashville. So I think this is native to Nashville, Goo Goo Clusters. If you guys, I'm like our Canadians, I don't think they knew what this was, but um, the Goo Goo Clusters are delicious. They are so good. Um, also in there, we had two little, this was Colt's chocolate. I ate one of the other ones already. It was like a Buckeye. I don't know if you guys don't know what Buckeyes, Buckeyes were, but it was a Buckeye with almonds, like a sliced almonds on the inside. It was so good. This one is the Bumble's Bee, Bumblebee chocolate. This one, uh, caramel chocolate and pecan. So that was uh, from Nashville. We also had in there, this is, oh gosh, this is from Nashville, Tennessee too. This is the Love Heals Thistle Farm. So soothing body balm uh, in the lavender and the lavender um, scent there. And I did open this last night and it smelled so good. So this Thistle Farms is in Nashville, Tennessee, which is cool. Um, also we got, Lily has already, she loved this. So this is a little guitar with mints on the inside. She, I literally had to pry this from her hands uh, upstairs. So she loved that. And then um, we also, Jonathan loved this. It was an apothecary tobacco and patchouli. I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, candle, and this was from um, uh, Patty Wax. Patty Wax, and it is from Nashville, Tennessee. I was like, tobacco, you know, and I smelled it, and it smells so good, a little manly. I loved it, okay? Um, and then we also had, uh, let's see, in here, this is already cold because Jonathan had it in the freezer. So we got a little sample of Old Smoky uh, Moonshine. So this was the Hunch Punch uh, flavor. And then we, uh, and it's from uh, Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And then we had Jack Daniels uh, Tennessee Fire, a little sample of that. Be good if you got a bad cold. Let's follow some of that. And then um, we also had a little sticker uh, that says, uh, pour yourself a cup of ambition, XO Dolly. Like, I really want a coffee cup that says this. I really do. Uh, but this, I'm going to stick this on my uh, on my laptop. So that is what we got in our little goodie bag in the hotel room. I'll put all this stuff back in here and move it out of the way so I can show you some other goodies. Okay. All right, so that is what we had in our room. Then um, Wednesday night, we had like a welcome dinner and we got to chat, just kind of like a little laid back, uh, you know, meeting where we could, you know, connect with sisters that we knew and then meet new sisters that we haven't. So then, um, so Thursday morning, we got up and uh, we went down to our meeting, had breakfast, and we went into the meeting room and they had one of these for every one of us. So this is the square tote in that black smooth pebble print with an, uh, the large serif initial A in uh, for each of us on the table. So this is a great professional executive tote. I feel like you've got the handles right here. You can grab it up. You've got our signature cell phone pocket there on the back. You've got D rings on the sides because this does come with a cross body strap and a shoulder strap. Uh, I just don't have it hooked up. And then also for us on the table, they had um, us a notebook for pack. They had a pack pen for us, which we all adore. A notebook. So the pack colors for our president advisory council is kind of like this Tiffany blue uh, color here so it's something that you just look forward to getting something in that um, print oh man I got a cup too and it's upstairs dang I just washed it and I didn't even think about it. I didn't have it but they had us a tall um, like tumbler uh, it was white and it had pack on it like this dang I forgot to get that okay but anyways so we got a pack notebook then um, on the inside and also at the table was our, you know, name card with pack on there. And then uh, we got a handwritten letter from our um, chief executive officer. So this was from Kamel Kent and it said, congratulations on being an important member of PAC this year. I'm excited to work together and define strategies that will return 31 to growth. I'm looking forward to a, a fun couple of days in Nashville together. Hope you have fun. So that was from Camille. And then also in here, which I love getting this every year, it's kind of like a who's who book. Uh, so read you what was on my page. So they sent out a questionnaire, kind of like answer these questions and tell us a little bit about yourself. So we had to fill out this big thing and they just picked a few things of what we um, commented. So 
mine uh, asked about my family, uh, husband and kids, and um, it talks, you know, wanted us to tell about our kids so uh, and our family. So I said, Jonathan and I have been married for 17 years. Actually, today, September 10th, is uh, our anniversary. We've been married for 17 years today. Um, and he is as country as they come. If you talk to him, you will never forget him. Uh, Clint is a mama's boy, but no one would know. Uh, he loves to ride his go-kart and swim. I've always called him my Clint baby. Lily is a handful and loves to snacks. My VIPs are familiar with her. I've always called her my lily girl and the uh, next question was what's your favorite childhood activity you want to share with your children or your next generation so i um said baking which i love to bake camping we have so much fun camping canning foods um and you know garden vegetables and things like that and sending cards in the mail i love doing that and it's something that you know we used to do a long time ago so i still loved to do that and to share i want to share that with my family What's your why? So my why is to be able to share the 31 Proverbs mission, Proverbs 31 mission with other ladies to help those ladies see their worth and potential and to grow our businesses together. And uh, what is the most important thing that 31 has brought to you? So I said, uh, the 31 opportunity has allowed me to be a work at home mom. I can be with my kids in the summer. Oh my gosh, I'm getting emotional. Um, I can be a mom taxi during the school year and I can make my own schedule. 31 has changed my life. So it has changed my life and uh, wow. But yeah, I'm just so grateful for this opportunity. I'm grateful for you for helping me um, and just letting me share with you my mission and my goals. And um, yeah, so we'll stop talking about that. So anyways, um, we got the square tote. And then also on the inside, we got um, the tote organizer, which this was on order. And so I'm so ex excited that I was able to get it. So this is the tote organizer and it can fit down inside of the square tote. So it can fit down inside the square tote. It can also fit in the, um, the quilted commuter tote and probably a few other ones. I literally just have not figured it out yet. Um, but this has, if you guys remember our swap it pocket, it's very similar to that. Um, so you've got an area right here. This has a little, so you can hook your keys on here and this has a little a retractable, I don't, it's hard to see in a video, but a little retractable thing here. So you can hook your keys on there. You've got a pocket here, a pocket here. You've got this middle section here with a zipper. So the middle section, literally I have not even figured this out yet, but a middle section there with a zipper. And then over here, you've got a section here and here. So this is great when you're moving from tote to tote. Uh, and then on the inside of the, oops, uh, this is the new tapered pouch. I didn't get this, this is what I had, but it's kind of similar to the Ruby Mini. It was just on the inside of here. So this is, <laughs> This is a new tapered pouch. Oh my gosh, look at all that stuff in there. Uh, but this has card slots built in. So it's very similar to the Ruby Mini, except it has like a triangle bottom so it can actually stand up. And uh, so that's in the cappuccino print. So, but anyways, on the inside of the square tote, you've got two flat interior pockets, a built-in zipper pocket. You've got a snap uh, section here so you can hook your keys if you wanted to. Hook that, um, that uh, what is it called? Snap to it pouch for your hand sanitizer and things like that. And then you have a built-in laptop um, section here. So you can pad a laptop section here. So we got this. Okay, so then um, that was the morning session. And then we went to lunch. They had lunch for us next door. It was delicious, by the way. Then we came back into the room and each of us had a Tiffany's box uh, they're waiting for us and uh, it was really exciting. So on the inside, look how pretty the Tiffany box is. So each year on pack, you actually get a key. Oh my gosh, I should have left it off, but I don't know if you guys can see that. So a key. So um, you get a key for each um, year that you have served on pack and it is engraved. It says pack and then the year that you have earned it. So uh, you see me wear it. You probably, if you've watched any of my videos, this is my necklace that I wear every day. I am proud uh, to wear this every day to serve on our Presidential Advisory Council. And it just reminds me that, hey, hard work does pay off. And so uh, when you see me wear this, you know what that means now. So we got a pack necklace there. 
And then, uh, so that night after our, well, our meeting was so great. In the afternoon, uh, we were able to do like round table discussions. So we moved to all different tables and had um, a round robin talk and discussion in five different key areas that we want to focus on for our field, for our company for this next year. And we have these little focus groups set up. So a uh, really great conversation. Uh, we got a lot of insight uh, into the company, decisions that have been made, decisions that are going to be made, and it was just really great to hear all of that information. We did have to sign a non-disclosure agreement, so we're not allowed, there's a lot of things that we are not allowed to share as PAC members, but we are able to voice our opinion and our feedback from the field. Uh, and then that night, this was so fun, so that night we, uh, we literally had like 30 minutes to get ready to be back downstairs to leave, and we headed to, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this, uh, We did, this was a surprise to us, we didn't know uh, this part, but it was like a little a Nashville experience that ha they had planned for us, and we, uh, landed our bus took us to the uh the graduate hotel so it said the graduate nashville um so this is i think like maybe a chain hotel in several different cities this hotel was themed for dolly parton so they took us up to i think the 12th floor and it opens up and it is like all dolly parton it is like pink and yellows and that you'll have to go look at my pack photo album on my uh, on my personal page and see all the photos this place was absolutely amazing uh so it was just so beautiful outside on the rooftop uh, patio they had like this big uh, pink Dolly Parton head. It's a little strange, but hey, we all took pictures around, which is kind of cool. Uh, and then um, we had drinks and hors d'oeuvres, um, just a great way. Cindy Monroe walked in when we were there. She is our founder. Uh, she founded 31 in 2013 in Chattanooga, Tennessee. So she walked in and we got to see her and talk with her. And it was a great surprise for us. So super fun, loved the place. Uh, they say that it is so hard to get in there. Uh, and, but they luckily were able to get us in. Then um, that the buses, the party buses took us to the Wild Horse Saloon. Uh, and I think this place used to be on CMT, uh, which was really fun. And we had, uh, we, they had a section reserved for us on the second floor and we could see down into the dance floor. There was a live uh, band there, Paige something, I can't remember her last name now. Dang. Um, but we had dinner there and then uh, they did line dancing kind of like class. So several of our pack members uh, were down there with me. We had our boots on and we uh, learned some line dancing and we line danced all night. My favorite part of the whole trip. I loved it. It was so much fun. Uh, and just learning new dances and just learning something new. Like I just like to learn something new and it was a great time. I was literally sweating so bad. Then um, we left there and went to the 1230 uh, rooftop bar, which is a bar um, that is owned by Justin Timberlake. So we went there and made our way upstairs to the rooftop bar and just kind of chatted and hung out. Uh, it was really cool. And then, um, um, uh, both nights we had some of our friends come to our room and we just chilled and and talked and it was really fun and then uh, so friday we went downstairs for a working breakfast and uh they had moved our tables a little bit to where we were sitting with our focus group that we are going to be working with uh for uh, the next this next season so i my focus group is going to be in marketing so we'll be helping our new marketing um executive officer uh kind of help her along the way so excited super excited about that and then uh, we just kind of had like a q a session where we were able to really um focus and talk about the areas that we wanted to bring up um and to our we had our ceo our cfo lots of our top um home office employees that were there so they could hear directly from us about areas that we wanted to make an impact on this season. So, and then uh, we, oh, product. Oh my gosh, product. We got to see a lot of the new product that will be coming in January and February. Of course, I am completely sealed up, not allowed to share um, any of that right now, but it was really fun to see that. That is a great perk of PAC is being able to see what is coming down the pike. So, Anyways, that was my pa uh, my Nashville pack experience this week. It was so great. I just like, I'm, I'm on such a high. I loved it. I, we just had a really, a true blast. So thanks so much for tuning in today. If you're watching today and you're like, I want to be a part of that, I'll tell you, there is nothing better than women getting together. 
Um, and uh, we are talking about bringing out, that was one thing that I brought up yesterday, was bringing back, we used to call it our Celebrate and Connect meetings, um, but it was like a quarterly meeting that we had in person. So consultants and um, all across the United States can get together in their local areas, whether you're on that team or not, and have some training and just have some sisterhood. I'll tell you, it's powerful when women get together and collaborate and just connect. Um, and so we are gonna be bringing that back hopefully very soon and uh, but it is there is something to be said about women getting together so um, love that if you're interested in in being a part of something bigger than yourself uh, then I'm happy to talk to you about the 31 opportunity and how um, you can change your life um, it certainly has changed mine um, but you know like with anything you you, you get out what you put in. If you are gung-ho and you're going to reach your goals, you're going to reach your goals. You just have to work at it every single day. So thanks so much for staying in with me today. I hope that y'all have a wonderful weekend and see you soon. Bye.